Firstly, the start point is always making sure that the transaction is affordable. Um, it's essential that people work out their finances, realistic budgets for what they can afford to spend on living expenditure, food, travel to work, social life, petrol, mortgages, and also when you're buying a property, your bills effectively are not going to be the same as when you're renting. First time buyers are in the best position within a transaction. Um, they can move very quickly their money generally is in place, that it's not tied in with the sale of a property which brings in a longer chain. Uh, so they, they have the, the biggest bargaining tool I'd say as a, as a buyer. It's often handy to have a solicitor lined up pretty much at the time that you're looking for a property if you're keen to sort of progress quickly. Um, from the point you make an offer, you instruct a solicitor, you would at that point have had a mortgage or some sort of finance in principle. Dependent upon the age of the property, it's, um, it's wise to have a structural survey with properties that are, are older. Of any, any Victorian properties, we would expect people to conduct a full survey. If you think about how, how much research one may do when they buy a car, uh, and they'll go and test drive cars, but you, you can't test drive your house. You will visit it, it will probably look very lovely on the days that you view, um, but you don't really know what's going on behind the wallpaper. Um, so surveys can be quite confusing as a start point for first-time buyers, but we, we can help and assist in that form. Beyond getting a survey done, the um, formal instruction they'll need to give to their solicitor will include some money on account, and that will enable us to start the searches. Once the search results are in, um, the inquiries will be raised by a solicitor, uh, dependent on the legal paperwork and the result of the searches, and, and also the survey combined. Uh, there'll be a, a period of time where solicitors for a buyer and a seller will be corresponding with raising inquiries and then replies to those and that's effectively us doing our homework and, and getting all the information we possibly can for our buyers about the property they're acquiring. Exchange of contracts is the time when all parties in the chain will um, exchange on a certain date and set the completion date. From exchange of contracts, all parties are contractually obliged to complete on the transaction. Um, an exchange of contracts will take place with a deposit of 10% uh, usually. So the fixtures and fittings you'd, you'd ordinarily expect to be included in the sale will be the fixtures and fittings that are not movable in simple terms. So if you have you know, a shower unit, a bathtub, kitchen units, built-in cookers, Built-in appliances generally are included as a part of the sale. Um, it's important for first-time buyers to view the property with the fixtures and fittings form in hand uh, at the time that they are provided a copy from their solicitors.